Hi nieces and nephews, welcome back to Auntie Nell's Kitchen. And for those of you that are running through my kitchen, I hope you stick around and start hanging out with Auntie so you too can become a niece or a nephew. And, and to my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. And I hope you continue to stick around. If you please, if you would hit that like button, you can share my videos. Does about, I love sharing this. You know, anyone that knows me, I love to share. So today we're going to be making black pepper steak and rice okay very quick simple dish very it's an asian inspired dish so it's but it's not technical it's very simple very quick okay so get until mom we're gonna do a flip and a swift and we're gonna get started so i can show you everything you need so you can make this for your friends and your family or you know like i say keep it to yourself give me a moment be right back okay welcome back welcome back let's get started Okay, what I am going to show you what you need to make this pepper beef. Now, you can use steak and cut it in cubes, but I find that if you use thinly sliced steak, or you can buy a whole like a Brunden, um, what do you call it, London broil, and you can slice it really thin, or you can buy your steak already really thin. But uh, to me, it works best when it's thin, to me. And I have it in a marinade, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys what all went into this marinade because it's the same thing i'm going to use the marinade is the same as the sauce okay and some people use what leftover marinade they have left from marinating their meat they use that i don't do that for sanitary purposes because the marinade if you use that marinade in my opinion you use that marinade from what you've been marinating this meat in it's not going to give it enough time on heat to kill any bacteria. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to get started. You need some peppers. Um, I'm using red, green peppers and I'm using and onions. You can use any color pepper you want, but I just like color. I love color. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get our marinade started. Okay, I have my um, one tablespoon of just regular soy sauce. And you guys know I'm a big fan of my sweet soy sauce. I don't care what soy sauce I'm using. I still like to add a little bit of that sweet soy sauce. So I'm going to add a little teaspoon of that. Get that a good, nice whiskey whiskey. Oyster sauce. Oh, by the way. This is a pound and a half of steak, thinly sliced steak. And so what I'm going to do, because I want all that goodness out, out of this spoon. And you see that thick soy, the sweet soy, soy sauce, just thickening it up. Made it a little syrupy, but that's okay. That's goodness. I'm going to add a teaspoon of oyster sauce. You can add a little more. Um, oyster sauce is uh, kind of powerful to me. And I'm not a big... Uh, I, I'm not a big uh, oyster sauce fan, but it is essential in um, Asian cooking. It is essential. You're going to add a teaspoon of, I mean, two teaspoons of sesame, toasted sesame oil. Make sure it's a good sesame oil. This is premium. Make sure you got a good sesame oil. Now, you need peppercorns. You at least you need two tablespoons of ground peppercorns. Now, if you guys don't have peppercorns and you don't want to go out and buy peppercorns for this uh, recipe, you can use coarse black peppers. You can see the coarse. This is coarse uh, black pepper. You can use that. I use peppercorns in my marinade, but I'm going to use this to garnish the coarse black pepper to garnish. Very important ingredient is uh you know in in Chinese cooking is this Shaoxing, uh rice cooking wine okay so I'm gonna take get my shashun rice cooking wine and I'm gonna add a whole tablespoon three teaspoons is a tablespoon one two three Move that out of the way for a little housekeeping. 
okay now i have this now this would be my final glaze of what's going to go on here and so this is what the marinade is so this has been marinated in my refrigerator for about three hours or, or more because i got busy so i can't say um and then you add a what you do you add a little sprinkle a little cornstarch on here get that all marinated you may see some is some um people call it corn flour in the asian community they call it corn flour it's, it's cornstarch it's cornstarch okay so we're gonna get this be right back hold on okay um now i have a little bit of vegetable oil not olive oil this is vegetable oil and i have a tablespoon of minced garlic so i'm gonna just i am think i'm gonna do it just uh get this garlic to release its flavor and you do that by just you know sauteing it into some um oil just all you're doing and you'll know that the uh the aroma was will change and you will really start smelling start hitting those nostrils so that lets you know that your the uh flavor of your garlic has been released and you don't want to cook it on high make sure you keep it you know on low because you don't want to burn your garlic okay and the reason why i keep stirring it around is because i don't want to sit in one spot where it starts to crisp or anything like that okay now i'm gonna pour my beef in here look how keep and I have turned my fire down a little bit more. And I'm going to be sauteing this. In addition to the marinade, I did put a little bit of uh, um, meat tenderizer in here. Because I didn't velvet. I did not velvet it. I didn't velvet this. And normally I velvet it, but I just, you know, since I'm going to be um, sauteing this up, I use the corn flour to give it that nice, cute little coating. I call it cute. You can call it what you want. And so, I'll turn my heat up. I had it on low for the garlic. And I'm going to turn it up to medium to low. And I'm going to leave this alone and let it be, let it be, let it be. Cause I want to, I'll, I'll start flipping when I get some brownness on the, the one side, then flip to the other side. All right. You see how this beef is nicely coming along. I'm going to let it, uh, I'm going to saute it just for a couple of minutes. Um, probably not a couple of minutes, probably about two or three. And while I'm doing that, you know, if you can't get, if you don't have an Asian market where you live, you know, you can order things. You, can, you know, you can always go to Amazon, I guess, and order it. Um, yeah, you can. Um, but Atlanta is a global mecca of culture, culture, and food. I mean, it's just a mecca. So basically, anything I want for my dishes, I can get. I can even get a black chicken. I've never cooked a black chicken, though. It interests me, but my friend... She, she had invited me to her um, home for dinner. And she always say when I come, she was going to cook black chicken. I prefer to eat hers first than me fooling with me trying to cook it myself. So, beef is, beef is done. So, you see that? I'm going to throw my onions and peppers in here. Now, you don't, you don't cook them to their uh, soft. You're only going to toss them around until your onions become a little translucent. Whatever the word is, you guys know what I'm trying to say. And you can just smell that, those fresh peppercorns. And I'm going to turn my heat down low because I do not, I just want to cook my peppers, I mean my onions, until they're translucent. Okay, salt, whatever y'all want to call it. I, I mean, it's your oyster. Some words I just don't pronounce anymore, so I don't even, I don't even worry about that. It is what it is. Okay. 
This is all I want because you know you want to re retain some crispiness in your peppers. You don't want soggy peppers. You want to retain some of that crispiness in your peppers. You see my onions are really looking nice, 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 nice. And so what I'm going to take do now is take this uh my little marinade mixture and I'm gonna throw that in there. Throw that over there for a little housekeeper. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> And this is all I wanted to do and see oops oh goodness gracious me get it to dusty well I gotta wash it out first because this has garlic in it dogs can't have garlic so here we are all right now I'm gonna take this and oh I have two pieces dusty you wasn't like a dog today okay what I'm going to do I had all, already have my rice cooked and this kind of rice I use, I have my, you know, I label everything. Um, I use my Asian rice. Um, I like this brand. It's really good if you into sushi. I don't eat sushi. I don't make sushi. Um, it's Nishiki. It's a Japanese rice. Really, really good. I mean, the first time I had it, oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, so we're going to plate this up. And I'm going to show you guys what it all looks like, okay? Okay, I'm going to scoop some of this rice out of here. And you see there's a difference than just it looks sticky, doesn't it? Because it kind of reminds you of sticky rice. It definitely reminds you of sticky rice. Going to move that out the way. Then we're going to plate up some of this good pepper beef. those good vegetables in here you know you want to get some of those get some of these peppers you know get some of these red peppers and get you some onions some well I've, hopefully i can get some onions See, this is so good. Now, if you like a lot of meat, like I have carnivores, I have carnivores, so you know, they are meat lovers, okay? They are meat lovers. All right. Voila, here's your pepper beef, okay? Black pepper beef, not pepper beef because they will be using bell peppers. This is black pepper beef, there's a difference. Now remember what I said, I was gonna take that, this coarse ground pepper for a little garnish. That's it. Hope you guys uh, make this. I think you'll really enjoy it. They, uh, they like it. So, um, hold on nieces and nephews. Thank you nieces and nephews and friends and my new subscribers. You know your nieces and nephews, everyone is family today. Okay, as always, your family. Thank you for tuning in to my channel and I hope you make this black pepper beef, black pepper beef, it's really easy. It's, it's not a lot of ingredients, it's quick, simple. You, you're in the kitchen and you out the kitchen, right? And that's the way you want it to be, especially on the, you know, those of you that still work, go to school, have busy lives, you know, you want to be in and out, right? So until the next upload, hugs and kisses to each of you. Love you guys until the next time. Go be you, be great being you, and I will see you later. Bye.